Good morning whenever you are seeing this i hope you know how loved you are it is monday the 13th i have all my pre-op appointments today i have my blood work my covid test and my anesthesia appointment and my surgery is in two days on the 15th so this is hopefully my last surgery but i might have another one i'm nervous i'm excited but i think i'm just excited to be almost done so I am off to go get my blood work, my COVID test, and the anesthesia appointment. Hard part about the blood work is you just have to go and show up and there's usually a line of like four hours. So I'm trying to get there early to be the rush, but because everyone's getting their blood work right now for a Wednesday surgery, it might be a lot of people. So I'm hoping that it's not too bad, but we will see. I'm walking over to the lab part of the hospital. It's a long walk, but at least I got here early. I just got my blood done. I was not able to record it because of, I don't know why, but I'm off to my COVID test right now. I just got done with all my tests. I got here at seven. I'm done at nine. That is like the quickest I've ever done them. I am now headed to Harbor Skate Park. It is 10 minutes down the street and I will be skating and I'm excited to skate um, before the surgery. It'll probably be the last time before the surgery. So I'm excited to go skate and just be able to do that. Last time I had to get my blood drawn, they took like eight vials, which is like, I think a lot, but this time they only took two. So, not too bad, but last time was a lot. Oh, it's gonna leave a bruise. <laughs> just got done skating I forgot to film I only got one clip for you guys sorry I am now going to the coffee shop this is the only mom and pop shop place I could find hopefully it is good it is great thank you thank you very much tomorrow's Valentine's Day but I'm taking Chloe out to dinner tonight we are going to catch steak I'm very excited we have both been wanting to go there for a long time sorry I just worked out that's why I'm so out of breath, oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, we've been wanting to go to Catch Steak for a while. I was able to get reservations um, like two weeks ago. So we are going tonight. We are both very excited. Um, I just got her flowers. I got all of her gifts for tomorrow. <gasps> oh, all the hair it took off. Literally just waxed my arm. Chloe is getting home from school right now. And then we are gonna go to Catch. So I am gonna get ready right now. This is my outfit for tonight. Um, we really liked it. I forgot, I forgot to film. But we ate everything, it was amazing. We got the steak, the Brussels sprouts, waffle fries, and then something else, but we already ate it. It was really good. We just got back. It is about 9.30. We are going to lay in bed and sleep. Um, tomorrow's Valentine's Day, I'm very excited. <laughs> <laughs> it's not 9 30 huh <laughs> <laughs> what time is oh my it God. we really said let's move what time is it oh never mind it's 8 45 i just feel tired and it also feels late doesn't it feel late right now Yeah, it does. okay i thought it was 9 30 it is 8 46 but that doesn't change anything i'm still going to bed i had a good night tomorrow is valentine's day and i am very excited good night Not gonna lie, I woke up a little nervous for the surgery today. Um, I think it's just more hitting me that I'm not gonna be able to do as much as I normally do during my days, um, like physically. I'm gonna go on one of my favorite hikes. It's in Runyon Canyon. I feel so happy when I go on this hike. I'm really hoping it'll make me feel better with all of, like the thoughts that I have about surgery in my head right now.
so I started all the way down there. I went up the mountain, up, 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 up. You can't see, but straight up. I'm not even kidding. Doing anything like working out when I'm having a hard time mentally helps so much. I don't even remember what was worrying me. Oh, so good. I went all the way to the top and now I'm heading back down. Honestly, I've been the worst. Today, I've been running all over the place. I met my friend at the Grove. Um, I've just been doing things to keep my mind preoccupied. Um, Chloe's taking me to Mastro's last night. I took her to catch. I am very excited. I obviously am nervous about tomorrow, but I, like I said, I'm trying to find um, just like the good things in it. Like I'm blessed to be able to be getting a surgery. And yeah, so anyway, um, tomorrow is the day. I have to be at the hospital at 6.30 in the morning. That's pretty early. Um, we're like 45 minutes from it, so I'm gonna have to get up very, very early. Um, yeah. We just got back from dinner. It was very good. Very good. Very good. We got the steak. And we shared. We've and been we doing got... that lately and it's so smart. Yeah, because then you're not like super full or you're like just like a perfect full. Yeah. So we shared a steak. We got and then mac and cheese. Sorry. What else did we get? Fries, Brussels sprouts. Yeah. And then you have room for the sides. No, it's so joy. We feel good about that, right? I'm gonna go to bed. It is late. Feels very late. I need sleep. Good night. 5.45, time to get ready to head to the hospital. This is my hospital fit. I started braiding my hair for surgeries because I noticed that I had two really big bald spots after the first surgery. So I've been braiding them back every surgery after that. And also it prevents a lot of like knots. So I just braid them. Braids. And because I'm not able to have water, I'm trying to like preserve my pee because I have to give a pee sample when I get to the hospital. So I'm trying to like hold it in until I get to the hospital because I don't know how many pees I'm gonna have in me. We are leaving. Because <laughs> of my hair. I'm cold. I'd be a little bloody, but... Yeah, can you have this on there? I don't know, we won't look. This angle. I, you know, you just can't look good in this thing. Like, there's no... Chloe's been interpretive dancing, the kid's crying next to <laughs> And it's probably one of them. No, she's not an awful human. She's trying to distract me, which is the nicest thing, but it's also the funniest thing I've ever seen her do. I care about this kid so Okay, do it, do it. This is the current, this is the plan, and this sort of mimics then how much I'm taking on either side. See mm -hmm. that? So this one is like the current. And this one is similar to the goal. What you want to get. So this this oh. gives me how much how much I need to take from the one side. <laughs> so I got ten or eleven. Shit. Shit. It's actually eleven. I knew it. So the book's are right. So you have exactly. You have... I was gonna bite your finger. <laughs> no, 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 no. I just got up, um, I was a little nauseous, but I'm feeling better. I have my clothes on. I can see my teeth. I just got back at seven. My doctor did the surgery within five and a half hours, which is really short for him. Um, I'm feeling really good. I feel like I haven't really I feel like I didn't even go under anesthesia. Like my body feels good. Um, the only thing that hurts really bad is my throat from them pulling out the breathing tube. I am hurting really bad. So I'm trying not to talk a lot. But yeah, I am sitting on the couch right now, drinking some water and I'm going to go to bed soon. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good morning. 
I'm a little swollen in my throat, but I have to take my antibiotics. Hopefully it stays down because my stomach has been super sensitive. I just took my antibiotics and had me on steroids for the swelling. Um, I just finished my yogurt and I'm drinking a lot of water. Thankfully, I have not thrown up. Last surgery was really bad. I couldn't keep anything down because of the anesthesia, so I'm feeling good. And look, you can see my teeth. Very swollen, but it looks better than it did. I just showered, I feel so refreshed. Um, now you can kind of see the quilting features more. That is all the blue ones. Um, these are regular stitches. Basically the quilting sutures is to flatten out the skin because it gets so swollen. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat is hurting so bad. Um, honestly, the worst part of this surgery has been my throat um, because of the breathing tube. Um, I can't I can't like talk a lot because when I do it hurts. So yeah, I was able to just wash my face and my body and I'm feeling good. So the surgery went really well. My doctor accomplished everything he wanted to accomplish. You can't see because it's super swollen, but you can start to see that like the the two columns form and then the little dimple in the inside. Um, like I said, it's really swollen, but I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. He will be taking out the quilting sutures, so I'm sure it'll look better. I'm feeling the best that I have felt ever after any surgery that I've had. Um, I don't feel like super nauseous or anything like that, and I'm able to hold down food, so very thankful. But whenever you're seeing this, I hope you know how loved you are. Go hug someone you love today.